dodging inquiries regarding the safety risks associated with American dairy and meat provisions by diverting attention towards individual dietary selections rather than offering direct responses. And what's your current assessment of the risk to the U.S. Uh, milk and meat supply from the bird flu epidemic in cattle? Yeah, so uh, I know that uh, um, uh, the Department of Agriculture has been uh, on top of this. Uh, I know that they are not seeing any uh, any concerns uh, to uh, to milk or any uh, of the cattle or the meat or meat uh, that we're being that we're consuming. Uh, well, I don't consume meat, but some of you, all of you out there. Um, and so uh, it, obviously they are taking this very seriously. They're monitoring the situation as far as, uh, uh, as far as we understand it to be, is that uh, they believe that uh, milk and, and consuming meat is safe. This tactic may constitute a purposeful effort to steer clear of conversations about potentially sensitive or intricate matters like the ramifications of avian flu on farming and food production. Responses from spokespersons can breed skepticism or discontent among individuals who view queries as evasive maneuvers. This approach can foster doubt or disillusionment regarding the openness of governmental representatives and public communication. It has the potential to influence public opinion regarding the White House press secretary and the Joe Biden administration concerning their management of agricultural and food safety concerns. Those who value openness and responsibility in governmental discourse may perceive the press secretary's reply negatively, eroding confidence in the administration's capability to adequately tackle public anxieties.